Hey, good morning, my friends. This is Tony at Sidekick Crafts. Please forgive my voice, you guys. I don't know what's going on, but I'm losing it. <laughs> so um, I'm here to do a, a video. I had an idea, an inspiration, and um, I wanted to, to do something today that didn't require a lot of extra fancy tools. I am participating today in uh, Craft Your Stash Challenge 2023 hosted by Anchored and Crafts, and I wanted to do, like I said, something that didn't require much. So we're gonna make some, we're gonna make a card today with some paper flowers. This is the first one I tried, and um, I think this is gonna go really well, actually. Um, this was a little wonky. I started with this one, didn't work the way I was wanting it to, did a little altering of my idea, and the next one's gonna be even better. So I don't have a finished card yet, but that's okay because um, this is going to go well. See, I'm speaking it into being. Now, I'm going to... I, you don't need special tools, you guys. You don't. Um, I used a, whole, uh, a circle punch. This is a two and a half inch circle punch. Um, you can use what size you have. You know, the probably... I don't know. It, it's going to get pretty crazy. This is a two and... Oops. This is the size that the flower gets when it's with this circle punch. And for a card, that's going to be a decent size, you can see. So I, I'd say two and a half or bigger. Um, it's going to be pretty tiny, lots to work with if you go any smaller. So, um, But it's totally up to you. And I thought it would be fun to work with these purples. I'm only going to make a cut. I have a lot of circles. I'm not going to do all of those with you today. But um, I cut them out all the same because I want to make them later. But I'm going to put a... Oh, that's not going to work. Okay. This is not... My crocodile is going to be too short to make the hole. So we're going to use an awl in the middle of these. And an awl or any kind of pokey tool that you might have. You know, if that's a safety pin or or what have you. What Use what you've got. Um, I don't know where my plastic mat is. This will work. I'm actually going to just kind of eyeball it and put a hole in the middle where I can put a brad. So participating in this challenge, um, February is the month to use brad, is it brads and buttons? Yes, brads and buttons. So today I'm using brads, but buttons would be adorable too. I just didn't get mine out and I probably could have and should have. They're just right there where I can see them, but I'm gonna use brads today. And again, I apologize for my voice. Maybe I shouldn't have made a video today, but um, I'm feeling fine. I'm not sick uh, for some reason. I just am losing my voice apparently, which is not good news. <laughs> um, I need to talk. I need to be able to talk. So here we go. I'm, I don't even plan to make this many with you today. That's too many. What am I doing? All right, so we've got that. We've got the hot glue gun on. Um, I've got an extra glue. We can put, oops, all my hearts are falling out for my other projects. Let's put this back up here out of the way. And for now, I'm going to put that all back in the box so that I don't forget where I put it. Because this is where it goes, so this is where it should be, right? All right, let's put that right back away. Um, Now, we're going to pick out some brads. You guys have seen all these brads my, my wonderful friend Lori has given to me um, in this bag. I've shown you before. So we've got, I'm not going to go through all of them, but let's go through some of them. And I actually think I see, might see some that I liked to do this project. Look how cute these are. These are little flowers. Oh, these are neat. Well, look at these. I wonder if I can put these in there. Would that be cute? That would be so cute. I don't have the tool to smash that, though. How do you smash these, you guys? What tool do I need? I don't know. I wonder if I can use my pliers to do that. Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna try it, I don't know. If that doesn't work, I've got, these are cute. Oh, there's a little green one. She, she gave me so many brads, so many beautiful things in this box, in these boxes. She actually gave me um, three boxes in a bag and a little tote. And they're just, there's so many fun things. And I just appreciate it so much. 
so, so much. And I, okay, let's see. I might, well, no, these are, oh, that's cute too. wonder if I have more of those. I don't need them all to be the same, but it would be nice if they could at least coordinate. Let's see, one, two, there's three of them. That might work just fine. Those could work. Um, these are these cute little clips she's got in here. I didn't realize those were there. It's like every time I get in here, I see new things. It's so much fun. It's such, so sweet to have a friend. I'm so blessed. There's a little, oh, that's so cute. A little charm. There's another one. <clears throat> These are little clips. Those are nice. How fun is that? My goodness. All right. Well, there's some of these, too. I kind of like these flat ones a little bit better. Oh, and there's a button. There's a brown one. I don't want the brown one. Put it back. I don't want the brown. Do I have more of these purple ones, though? There's a purple, purple one. There's a white one. Here's another purple. Ooh, these dividers come out. That's kind of nice, too. Let's see. Another purple. No, white one. Okay. So I've got these purple ones, too. So we've got some options. Okay. That's enough options. All right. Enough options. I do want to try these first because I think I like those the best. But we've got options, okay? Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> we've got our circle punched out. We've got a hole in the middle. Um, before I actually cut, well, before I actually cut this, I'm going to try to squash it with the pliers and see if this is going to work because I might ruin the paper. I don't want to go through all that work if it's just going to, if it's going to ruin it. So let's, let's give it a shot. I feel like I might need that tool and a little, a little mallet or something, but um, I'm going to see if this will work. I might need, I'm going to need my hole just a little bigger. So even though I put that away, I'm going to make it a little bigger. Let's see if I can punch that through. It's probably still a little bit too big. Okay. So that's what that would do. If it works, we're, we'll be in good shape. So fingers crossed. I'm just going to squeeze the tar out of it and see if that'll do. It will, but I think I'm going to have to put something on the front of it so it doesn't mark it. Actually, the marks from my pliers make it look a little more, a little more interesting. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, it worked. It smushed it enough at least. So it'll stay on there. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to take, I'm going to use those. We are going to take our scissors. We're going to cut to the middle and we're going to take, we're going to take some chunks out of this. Okay. Some triangles. They don't all have to be the same. We're aiming for a thinner strip here. Am I in the camera? I hope so. I tried triangles, that didn't work very well. My first one was a hot mess. But we don't need a die cut for this and we can make some cute flowers. They're gonna be wonky, they're gonna be different. It's gonna be awesome. They'll have some personality and make a super cute card, I think. So we'll see how it goes. See if you agree with me get you guys inspired. I love to inspire you. So if I do inspire you, I hope that you will hit that subscribe button and the like button because it helps my channel out. And it helps me to bring you more videos. It helps me know what you like. So let's try this one first before we go crazy and make a bunch of them. If this fails, then it fails, and we'll try something a little different. We'll see how it fails. I'm going to take a bone folder, and I'm just going to, to rip off the petals. Well, we're here. I Don't be so rough as I was just now. I just ripped off one of the petals. Um, I'm going to see if I can glue it back on, though, if it'll, if it'll let me. And you know what? We can just, we're practicing with this one. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. All right. I'm not going to be upset. 
we're just going to put a little pot glue right there. And we're going to carefully bend this back. You don't want to flatten it out because you want the petals to be a little rounded. See, I might have been a little bit overzealous with my, with my cuts. I probably shouldn't have gone all the way to the middle, but I did. We're just going to fold that, hold it in place a little bit so it stays. You can use liquid glue or any other kind of glue you want with this. I'm using hot glue because it's quick. It holds them down fast. And I can continue to work. If you do use hot glue, if you decide not to use a brad in the middle, um, or if you, excuse me, let me change that up. If you, you can glue your petals first, but if you want a brad in the middle, make sure you, that your hot glue isn't in the center because you won't be able to get your brad through. So you want to watch out for that to make sure you leave plenty of room for your brad in the middle. Even though this one's torn, I actually might be able to still use it if I place it correctly on the card. If I like it, if we like it. All right, so that's what the back looks like. This is what the front looks like. It's cute, right? I think so. Now what I can do, I think I'm gonna try to attach this back on here. Um, I will still place it so that it's not noticeable, but I'm gonna glue this back on. I think that'll work. But when I put it on the card, I'll put this particular petal, if I remember, it's actually not very noticeable. Put that particular card up behind another flower or near another flower that it doesn't really show. I think that's so cute. I love it. So um, let's, do, let's do a couple more just for kicks. <laughs> All right, so we learned that we have to make our hole bigger if we're using those. I'm gonna not cut quite so close to the middle because I need a little bit more room so it doesn't tear, right? And we like these. And I didn't mind the pattern from my, from my pliers. I didn't mind that. So I'm just gonna squeeze the tar out of it again. and let those marks happen. You can make these kind of funky and rustic too if you wanted to, distress them and wouldn't that be fun? Ooh, that would should be my next project. We can make some distressed ones and um, yep, I got that. That's gonna be next, not today, not on this video. <laughs> we'll do another video because I've got some brads to go through. I've got some buttons to use up. So I think we can do that on a next one. This was um, definitely just an idea I had and I wanted to try it out. I think it'll be cute, but I think we can do a Tim Holtz version, right? Why not? Funky, distressed, crazy flowers, yes. I'm all about it. This is gonna be the cute, clean version. You guys, I've gotta get my voice back before tomorrow. I have a very important phone call tomorrow to make. I will need my voice. And prayers, please. <laughs> All right, here we go. These are quick too, right? That's not that, it didn't take that long. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, course that's hot you know be careful don't do what I did J 
gently this time, gently. There we go, that's better. Super fun. Okay, look at that. Okay. So the um, the bone folder, when you do that, will do the, a lot of the folding for you so that it'll be easier to bend that without getting a flat look. That's important. I just did the wrong color. I was going to use the um, metallic. This paper is a flat color, but these are a little bit, these have a metallic sheen to them. Or pearl is what I should be saying. That's a pearl sheen to them. So I wanted to use those for my card, but it's okay to have extra too. I can make more than one card. Or maybe I'll mix and match. I don't know. Whatever strikes me. You can do what you want to do. Maybe get the paint off my finger. There. This idea came to me. I was going to do pinwheels, and I thought, you know, those would be really cute flowers if I did something similar or used that um, idea to create something different. And I thought that would be really cute to make flowers like that. Um, in a similar way and that's that's kind of where this came from just cut them and you know there let's kind of bend this one up too I think it's super cute I love this um I can see lots of um lots of possibilities here let's go with another this color actually mixing and matching I think they're going to be great oops I already had some of these already done didn't I that's okay These are so pretty. I love this color, a little periwinkle, right? These come in together pretty quick. No special tools, really. I mean, if you put a brad in here, you just need to poke a hole and stick it in there and fold the things apart. But that's not required, not at all. No dyes involved. Guess you need a hot glue. Well, you know, you just need glue. You don't need a hot glue gun. Need something to cut with. Need some some kind of sticky paper, of course. Should be able to do this on pretty much any kind of paper. This would be cute with um, book page. Oh, I'll be really cute with book page. I think that's what we're gonna do when we do the Tim Holtz version. I think so. I think we'll use book page, music paper. Would This one's almost done. How long did that take? Not very. All right, I'm thinking I'm just gonna make, um, uh, I think I'll make like two more. So I want a little bouquet on there. I'm not, you know me, I don't add my sentiments until the end. So um, when I'm ready to send the card, <laughs> because you just don't know, you just don't know what it's gonna say. So I don't have a sentiment prepared. I could look and see if I've got some sentiments nearby. But this is my fun part. I, like, I love to make the card blanks and then add the sentiment later and add final touches. You guys, I've got to get my voice back. It's terrible. I have to work today. I have no voice. What is happening? not be able to. There we 
you go. Super cute. I absolutely love it. I love it. I hope you guys are liking this idea. Um, I haven't figured out the stems. I think I'm just going to draw the stems on the paper, honestly. I don't think I'm going to... Is this the darker color? Or is that... Yeah, this is the darker color. This is the one I meant to use. Um, right? That's this one. Yeah. Um... I just think I'm just gonna draw the, the stems on the paper with marker. Just something simple. And try to make it look a little, you know, wonky and fun. I'm sorry I'm being quiet it's like um <laughs> my throat is getting sore now actually not from talking it's just starting to get sore oh, I must be getting sick that's got to be shoot I don't want to get sick I can't get sick I don't have time to get sick okay look how cute they are okay Let's do, that's four. I want one more of these dark ones because that's the base color. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I want a dark one or another lighter one. I really love these colors together. But we need an odd color. So do I want this one or do I want this one? Probably this one is better. Okay. One more. One more. Can you guys stick with me? One more. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. Oh, look, I only got one more of these anyway. This used up five of my brads. I'm calling them brads. Because they're grommets or something, huh? I don't know. Squeeze the tar. Make it work. Make it work. That one did not squeeze, so that would come off. I don't want it to come off, so I've got to get it to squeeze a little bit. Did that work at all? I don't know. Probably good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. Okay, this is the last one. that one okay bone folder why do they call this a bone folder you guys do you know 
<clears throat> if you do, let me know because I'm curious. Why do they call it gold foil? I guess I could Google it. Google. Google is an amazing tool, isn't it? We used to have to look things up in dictionaries. I bet if I handed my kids a dictionary, they probably wouldn't know what to do with it. Actually, my kids probably would. We didn't have computers till later. But I bet their kids won't. They won't know what to do with it. Do they still teach the kids how to use a dictionary in school? I remember having to write the definitions of words, our spelling words, we'd have to write the definitions of them. We were, we used dictionaries all the time when I was a kid. I remember that, I remember that. Not just to sit on. <laughs> oh yeah, my throat's getting sore, that hurt. Okay, so these are that way. Now, what I'm gonna do, let's set these aside and get this out of the way. My trash can's about full. So I got a card base, yes I did. I went ahead and made one beforehand so I didn't mess it up like my video yesterday. I'm gonna go with, <coughs> excuse me, oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and um, lift this one. I'm gonna put foam tape behind it. And you know I've got this junk foam tape. So we are going to use this. My least favorite foam tape, my paper is white on both sides, so I won't mess it up this time. Oh my goodness. You guys, that was so funny yesterday when I was making that card. And um, <laughs> I put the tape on the color on the side that I wanted to use. That's just not gonna do. That was the side I needed. But it had tape on it now, so that's over. But this sun is white on both sides. I think this would be a cute little Mother's Day card or something like that. Easter, I mean, Val Easter, Valentine's Day, whatever, whatever you would send flowers. Oh, shoot, this one's dirty on this side a little bit. Oh, maybe that's where I'll put my flowers then. Because I'm not going to throw it away. We will make that work still. A little um, dimension to my cards, make them pop up a little bit. Set up just a flat card if I can. I mean, there's there's a place for both. I like flat cards too, but I think it's always a little more fun with dimension. And these flowers are definitely adding dimension. And I didn't even make a card base, but you know, the, the, um, these, when I make these, um, pieces, I just want to make your card base about a quarter of an inch around bigger than this. And there's no specific size. You can make your card any size you want. So if I don't give sizes or what have you, it's because I'm re really just want to show you the idea and you know, this isn't something that has to be a particular size. So this is the card base of the paper I wanted. And I use the same color as these dark flowers to try to make it coordinate a bit. Oops. And I'm going to place this as close to the center as I can. Trying to watch all the way around and get it right. There we go. You can see I've got a couple dark spots there. Um, actually, what I think I might do... I could put the sentiment there it would probably be easier um, to put a sentiment strip there. I've got these flowers now and my thought is, and actually, you know what? I've got five of them. That might actually be too many. As I'm looking at it, they might be too big to put all five. Well, maybe not. 
Look how cute this is. Look at that. Wouldn't that be a fun card to receive? Um, and we could make, um, see, now that would require die cuts. We don't have to do that though. I was going to say we could make little die cut leaves and put them, tuck them in there. We're not doing that though today, right? We're doing, we're just doing something simple. So, um, no, no, no die cuts, no special tools. That's what we're doing today. This is a, a project anybody can do. Anybody with whatever, whatever you've got. You don't even need the circle punch. You can cut the circles out yourself. They don't even have to be perfect because you know why? Because you're going to fold over the petals anyway, and those aren't perfect either. So yeah, you can do this. Anybody could. Even you. Even you, naysayer. You know what a naysayer is? It's somebody that says, no, I can't. Yes, you can. Because I have faith in you. All right, let's... Uh, I didn't really want it at the same level as that one, but that's okay. Because it's the same color. Let's put this one here and then this one here. Uh-oh, my buddy Doobie's coming. Doobie. Hi, buddy. Hi, love. Your mommy's calling you. You need to go outside. Hey, not in the trash. Hey, uh-uh. Nope, not in the trash. Hi, mister. I love you, too. He's so cute. He's getting, he has grown so, so quickly, you guys. I'll show you another video soon. Soon. He's just gotten so big. Um, how do I want to put this one? Um, shoot. I kind of laid these different than I had them originally. That's okay, but um, now I gotta refigure this out. I think there maybe. I think that would be good. So here's what I want to do. I want to use another piece of this dark color, maybe, or maybe this one. Let's use this one. Um, because I can cut straighter with with my with my cutter. Guillotine. I'm gonna use this, but you can use scissors again. Don't need a special tool. For this, I'm going to cut just a strip of paper to put across the bottom. <laughs> he wanted to say he wanted to say hi to Grandma. Oh, I think this is still crooked. Is that crooked? I'm not sure. Pretty, it's. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's my eyeballs. It's crooked, but I do want to cut it a little bit shorter. It's a little bit too long. I'm just gonna use my scissors. I just dropped the board, so I'm gonna use my scissors. And I want to use um, my corner rounder. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to go to work today. <laughs> I'm starting to really feel it. There's something, there's some, something going on here. All right, yes, I think that's perfect. And then I'm gonna put a white piece that's a little bit smaller. So this one is three and a half, three and a half by one and a half. So I'm gonna go three by one. Does that sound right? Three and a half by one and a half. About three and a quarter by one and a quarter would probably be better. <coughs> I'm gonna go a little big on this one so I can make sure it's straight. And a quarter by one and a quarter. Okay, that should be right. And let's go ahead and corner around this one too. And what I'd like to do is go ahead and 
erase this one as well. Put some dimension. I'll put some foam tape behind that also. And um, yeah, that way it's not flat either. Make sure this paper is clean. Yep, both sides are good. This one. There. And then I'm just going to glue this one with regular glue on this side. Flat to the paper. Just like that. Okay. And then. What I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna make green stems. I actually want to use my Micron marker. And if I can find it here, I just saw it. I just saw it here a second ago. There it is. Is this the eight? Nope, that's the point zero. Oh, I can never find the size I'm looking for when I need it. What is up with that? What is up with that? I just had it last night maybe this one this is it all right so i want to take this one and i'm just going to i've got five flowers i just want to draw some goofy little stems yeah and they're all gonna kind of join right in here and then what i want to do and actually, I could draw some little leaves on here too, right? They don't need to be perfect. Not at all. In fact, I think with what I'm going for here, I think it's better if it's not. And then I found this little tiny purple bow that I'm going to put on there. This was in my stack. This was just laying on my desk. I don't even know where it came from, but I just want to put that on there. And it's got. It doesn't have a little. I don't want to put a little gemmy there. Um, just a little sparkle of something. But I might have something in this jar that would work. Let's check in this jar. Let's see what we've got. I've got pink. I've got pink. We could put a pink one there. That kind of ties the lighter pink in there, maybe. Do I have purple anything besides that bead? I can't put the bead on there, that won't work. But here's a clear one. Maybe just a clear one. I like that one. Let's use that. Ooh, but wait a minute. Nope, we're using this. This is like a little raspberry bead, but it's just the, um, are we using that? I want to see something. Can I possibly, possibly cut this at all? It's really kind of, um, it's got a thicker base to it. It's not a raspberry bead. It won't come apart. But if I can clip, it worked. It worked. Okay, that's what we're using right there. Just a little something right there. And it actually adds another color, another texture. I love that. I love that. All right, you guys, we've got our card base or our card. Um, it's it's that's it. That's all we have to do. It's very simple. Um, like I said, I'll put a statement on here when it's time to to get it ready for somebody. It might say happy birthday. It might say happy Easter. But this will get glued onto a card onto the front. 
and it's that's it it's finished now we could do um where it can't be finished we could go around and do like stitching around it would be super cute there's so many things um i'm not going to do that today just because um again i don't know what it's going to be for and I'll feel, when I get the sentiment on there, I will feel led to create some more and do some different details maybe to it. But for now, I think that's finished. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you learned something. I hope you're inspired to create your own or to create something, you know, with the idea. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Blessings to each and every one of you. Love you all. Thanks for uh, putting up with my voice today. Have a great one. Bye-bye.